two Montana men exonerated for crimes appeared at the legislature today. They spoke in favor of two bills, which they say would either prevent false convictions or make it clear how wrongful convictions can be overturned. But law enforcement officials oppose both measures. Senate Bill 156 from Billings Republican Roger Webb would require more vetting of incentivized witnesses who are often criminals that have been promised favors for testifying against someone. Law enforcement officials lined up to oppose the bill, saying it will destroy their ability to use confidential informants. Backers of the bill said it specifically exempts confidential informants and applies only to witnesses who testify at trial. Richard Burkhardt of Great Falls and Cody Marble of Missoula, both exonerated within the past two years, spoke for SB 156. They said incentivized witnesses led to their convictions and need more scrutiny and standards. And when you're sitting in jail, you know you're guilty, you did something. You, maybe you're going to prison for 10 years and you have somebody come along and say, well, if you say this or do that, we'll give you less time. If this law was in place, I feel like there's a much better chance that what happened to me would not have happened. The second bill, Senate Bill 172 from Billings Democrat Margie McDonald, clarifies the standard someone must meet on new evidence to have a prior conviction thrown out. Prosecutors opposed it, saying it's too lax and would require them to hold on to huge volumes of evidence indefinitely. The Senate Judiciary Committee will vote later on each of the bills.